welcome back to the vlog so today is so and tell day it has been i think basically four years since i did one of these which is crazy um and has always been my favorite of my videos so i'm very very excited i cannot tell you how happy i am just to be making and sewing and putting things in my wardrobe that i made again it really has been a very long time coming and i'm so so excited and i really have you guys to thank on that one because without this vlog i don't think i would have made five items this month but i did it <laughs> so yeah without further ado here is my first outfit so annoyingly there isn't really a good place to film all this anymore there used to be you know behind our bedroom door i used to do all the sew and tell vlogs but sadly now that isn't really that doesn't exist anymore because my daughter's bed is a huge beast in the whole room and i can't like fit there anymore so it's in the sewing room oh you guys came up with some really good names so house was one of my favorites i love the gabardashery of course um so shed was a bit of a winner but yes yeah, so house seems to be fitting quite well and the other i really love was thread shed but because i <laughs> I struggle with my THs. You probably know this by now. Um, I would say Fred Shed. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we won't go into that. But we are in my uh, sew house, which I like at the moment. Um, so you won't be able to see the bottom. So I'll kind of like do my jumps so that you can see what the bottom looks like. But yeah, here is the first dress. So this is the um, Seamwork Nina dress, which is meant to have a roll neck. And I did put the roll neck on, but I actually took it straight off again because when I tried it on without the roll neck, it really suited me. And the roll neck was just too much. I think this fabric was just too busy for a whole all over body thing. You need a bit of skin when you're wearing a print this loud. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it's the Seamwork Nina um, and uh, it is in rainbow fabrics. Gorgeous. So soft, like super, super soft organic cotton jersey i love this stuff i mean it's absolutely gorgeous um and the print is so happy and sunshiny and makes me just really excited about picnics in summer to be honest i'm really really happy with the fit it came together really well um i finished off the neckline instead of the roll neck with just a really thin band of it because i had i've still got the, <laughs> the roll neck and it was just too much i like it it is really cool but it was too much um and i never say that <laughs> so i just cut a little bit off it just kind of i think maybe four centimeters off the bottom of it and made this instead and that fits and sits really nicely i think um i could have maybe made it a bit smaller because it's you know how the neck band is meant to tighten it in a bit it didn't do that so maybe i should have made it a bit smaller um but i think it's fine i'm not at all i think it works really well i really like the mini cuffs on the sleeves as well um my camera's not finding a way to focus that but yeah so that's really cute um and then the length is always weird with the nina i'm never that into the length of the nina so i shortened it quite a bit and i still think i could go quite a bit shorter i'm gonna have to just put in a picture now because i can't even jump that high <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't jump that high at all. But um, it's all the way past my knee, um, and I think, I think it should be about <laughs> about there, <laughs> just above my knee, basically. Um, but I don't know. I quite like it as well. I'm just so indecisive, especially for lengths. I find lengths really hard to make a decision on. But yeah, that is my first dress. Uh, so I used to always twirl into um, my new makes and <laughs> weird confession, but basically I can't twirl anymore. Since I had B, it makes me feel really dizzy and sick. So no more twirling. So I'm going to try something a bit different now instead. Dress number one. Dress number two. <laughs> okay so yeah i'm gonna get used to that um but this is the lovely i'm so in love with this dress um tilly and the buttons indigo dress with the long <laughs> yeah everything's uh to... oh showing you a bit too much there um with the long uh add-on pack so it's got the long kind of ruffle 
um, and long sleeves obviously and I used all the just kind of internal gathers because I know you can do the external gather but I was I'm more an internal girl um, in this beautiful double gauze oh I'm so in love with it uh, from the So Haley Jane box that I was gifted kindly and I think my discount um, Gabby 10 is still valid for a few more days so if you want to get a so Haley jane box sign up now and you get 10 percent off your first box so yeah this fabric oh i just love it i wore it the other day um it's in my instagram pictures um if you want to see of me kind of with it all bundled up on a winter's day and i wore um a thermal <laughs> um roll neck and really really thick tights it's quite a bit warmer today so I don't really need that but it is winter ready double gauze don't think it's just for summer because it is it's for life not just for summer um and um I just love it I don't really have much to say about it it's just really easy floaty it could be dressed up it could be dressed down um I really wish you could see my boots because they're so cool oh <laughs> I got them for Christmas from my parents and I'm completely obsessed with them. Good old M&S boots um, and they go really well with them. Uh, but yeah, it didn't take very long to sew up. It's quite an easy sew this one actually. Um, I think it looks a bit more complicated than it is. Um, but it's got pockets. Yay! And lovely roomy pockets. Really nice pockets actually because you can kind of be all cosy in your pockets and I like that. I've been making too many things with small pockets recently and you can't even put your phone in them. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but more about that in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's a lovely, lovely dress. I really like the indigo pattern. Um, I really like the little kind of gathered shoulders and all of the, the cap sleeve thing. I love that. Um, I'm not normally a fan of facing, but these fit so nicely. They kind of, they sit so nicely. Um, and that works really well for me because obviously facing is needed in a woven dress. Um, I'm just not a facing fan. I don't know why. Um, and yeah, that is, that is it for my Tilly and the Buttons Indigo. Dress number two. <laughs> Outfit number three. Ta-da. So uh, this is obviously, I'm going to have to step really far back for this because trousers are not easy to show on a camera. <laughs> they can only get to here. Um, but I'll talk about the top first. I made this late last night. It was like, I've got to have the top because I said I was going to have tops and I've got to have at least one. Um, <laughs> so uh, this is Tilly and the Buttons. Again, you know, I love her patterns. Um, Freya, just the really, really simple uh turtleneck version and i do make it a bit bigger than i used to i used to make it really tight and honestly the ones that i made kind of before b was born and stuff just don't fit me anymore and it's not just that they don't fit me they're just they just feel a bit restrictive so i kind of like them a bit looser now and i think they're so much more relaxed so i kind of just add about a centimeter and a half as I'm cutting out. I don't really do any kind of proper mass or anything. I just eyeball it and just cut out a little bit bigger than I would have. Um, and I really like it that way. I like the relaxed fit. It's just, it's so cozy. This fabric again, rainbow fabrics again. Oh, a whole rainbow fabric outfit actually. Um, it's so super soft. I love, love, love this, the ribbed. Yeah, you can see I haven't finished my hems. I never finished my hems on Jersey. Why would you? Um, so, yeah, and I really love the turtleneck. It's such a nice little kind of simple turtleneck, this, which is really cute. Um, so not much to say about that. I sewed it up in half an hour all on my overlock. I just whizzed it through. It's so, so quick and simple um, and so wearable. I will wear this a lot, basically. Um, and then the trousers, so I'll step back so you can see. So I did make the Chandler trousers by Untitled Fort in this gorgeous uh, linen mix from Rainbow Fabrics. And I just, I adore them. They're so cool. They're, they're probably my favorite trouser pattern I've ever made. Look, they're pull on. So you've got elastic at the back. I mean, what more, more could you want? There's a possibility for so much food in there. <laughs> um, and I love the kind of belt loops. It's such an interesting construction. The waistband, I had no idea what was going to happen halfway through. I was like, this seems so wrong, um, but it's so right. 
and the the belt loops just really finish it off um and make it just look a little bit more professional i think so yeah i'm so so happy with them i'm gonna definitely put some pictures in now um they took a little bit longer than I thought they would. They were, it was about two nights of just sewing. So one night cutting out, two nights sewing, and I probably sew for about two and a half hours each time. So yeah, so about a five hour sew, which I guess most people would be like, that's nothing, but that felt quite long for me. <laughs> um, and uh, everything did come together pretty quickly. The pockets maybe could be a little bit tighter in but it doesn't really bother me especially in this print it doesn't you know I don't think it, it makes a difference um, I didn't bother with pattern matching I thought I might for like a minute <laughs> and then I remembered that I, I, can't, I just can't do that to myself because that would have taken a lot longer um, but I don't think you really need to with a print like this to be honest um, it's just really they're just so cozy and comfortable and I'm, I'm definitely going to make more of these. I know I say that about all these patterns, but I really, really am going to make more of these. And some in some plain fabric so I can wear some of my really colourful tops as well. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, I'm already looking like, yeah, the, the navy linen would be amazing. Oh, some yellow ones. Ooh. Um, I also have this really lovely wool that I was meaning to make chandlers in uh for a while and i will do that as well because i think they would be great in wool um they've come up so much so much better than i thought they would actually i i i wanted to make this pattern for years so i couldn't be happier so yeah without further ado outfit number three outfit number four <laughs> Ta-da! okay so another thing that <laughs> really gonna work with this camera angle um are oh, my jeans i'm so excited about my jeans um so these are the uh deer and doe saffron jeans in rainbow fabrics <laughs> denim um and uh, sorry i have to laugh because my whole stash is rainbow fabrics at the moment um because they're amazing so you know why not um Yes, these jeans are, are so practical and so comfortable that I live in them. But are they perfect? No, 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 no. Not at all. They're not the best, best fit. Um, there's quite a bit more room than I expect there to be in the waistband. But I did go up a size because I'm so sick of having tight waistbands on clothes that are meant to fit me. And I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. Um, that I thought I'd go up a size with the jeans. Um, but I guess... <laughs> Maybe I should have gone up half a size. But anyway, yeah, there is a bit of room there. There's also a bit of room here in the old crotchal area. So I have to keep pulling them up. But I really don't care because I just love them and they're so comfortable. Um, and they do have pockets. They are small pockets and they were really hard to sew. I unpicked them about three times and then I was just like, I'm done and giving up. Um, so there are like a few little things that... Oh, I've got tissues in my pocket. That's nice. Let's put them over there, shall we? Um, yeah, the, there's like a few little bits that I kind of sewed over because I was like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just, I'll add a few stitches there <laughs> and hold them together because it is a really interesting construction, the pockets. I've never done that before, um, but it kind of also just put me in a bit of a muddle and um, I struggled with them. Um, I also didn't use top stitching thread at all, which any other jeans I've made before I've top stitched all the way through you know on all the steps but I actually thought well for a start I can't be bothered to change the top stitch thread all the time which I know is a little bit lazy and naughty of me but I just really couldn't and so I did it all with the same uh, lovely Gutemann normal blue thread um, and so far I'm not noticing any kind of problems with that I know people will say Gabby you should have top stitched them because they'll start to fall apart and there are reasons why you're meant to stop top stitch jeans with proper thick top stitch stop this is hard to say top stitching thread um there are reasons and I know and it is it was very naughty of me but I did use oh I did use some on the pockets at the back uh so um yeah they're just kind of like perfect every day throw on even over my pajamas when I'm dropping be off at nursery kind of jeans um and I'm not really bothered by the imperfections because I never really have been bothered by imperfections um if you're 
watching me for flawless perfection <laughs> sewing you should probably go to another channel because uh, <laughs> I don't really sew like that I sew like is it wearable let's put it on <laughs> um so yeah yeah I'm really I really am happy with them um obviously I'm doing a real kind of uh blue theme today um because I don't have another top to show with these jeans so it's the same top again um um and it is really like I actually think that goes quite well which I didn't think it would I was like oh dear am I gonna wear those together but yeah why not um but yes I, I just really needed some more jeans especially blue jeans for my wardrobe so this just ticked the the box and I have worn them pretty much every day since I made them so that's all my makes um I'm so so pleased I managed to make five things for you all and uh Thank you for spurring me on. Thank you so much for all your love and comments at the moment. It's completely blown me away. Um, thank you to all the coffee supporters and also especially to my new members. I have been filming a lot for the bonus vlog. It's probably going to be very long. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to have that. And um, it's keeping me afloat. So I'm really, really thankful. I have lots of cool things coming up actually that I'm really excited to share with you, but I'm not gonna say too much now. I will leave you with that little tease, <laughs> sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope also, I keep forgetting to mention Quick Unpick, but I hope if you are around on a Sunday morning or you're maybe in another country far away and it's a really silly time for you and you can catch up later. But do join me for Quick Unpick. It's such a lovely interview thing that I get to do with wonderful sewists. I've got Megan on this week. Yes, Megan. <laughs> and I know a lot of people will be really excited to hear how she's getting on in Liverpool now and her wonderful business. And I don't know if we'll even talk about any of that because we'll probably just giggle about Netflix for half an hour. But I really can't wait for you all to be a part of that as well send me any questions send me any sewers you want me to interview um and yeah just get in touch and i will try and reply to all your comments i'm kind of trying really hard to do that this year and i am doing a lot better than i have in previous years so let's keep that up <laughs> uh, lots and lots of love to you all take care bye i just want to